All right, we're back talking about our final block, which is cybersecurity focused in the sense of, well, you know, there are these people out there, bad folks, adversaries, and they too have access to AI. And it turns out that they've been doing a little innovative work on their side as well. Terry, you were a story talking about how the bad guys are using Grok and Mistral's mixed troll platform now. And it, how much of this is going to continue? Because it seems like, you know, from my perspective, they may be doing this faster than the I good guys I think the are. bad guys are always a little bit faster than the than the good guys. Um, that's just my opinion. But, um, yeah, so, um, you know, this all centers our the conversation starts with Worm GPT. And you guys might remember, I mean, follow me back to the summer of 2023, and it had its sort of blaze of glory, Worm GPT, for about a month, right? And um, and then th one of the founders, actually, I guess, it shut it down, uh, was getting ready to get in a little bit of trouble. Um, and that happened. And so um, I think when I was working on the story, I thought this is a surprise, but not a surprise, because you expect... Uh, uh, generative AI and whatever to uh, be insinuated into just about everything uh, uh, these days. Um, and also, you don't ever expect that worms and other things go away completely, right? They always seem to come back and and uh, and have a, a new life. And uh, Worm GPT was kind of interested because while the the sort of original flavor went away, um, it's been sort of the basis. Um, for these, these, uh, these, these worms uh, that are a that are AI powered through, I guess the last couple of years, um, it's I think somebody called them. It's like the the Kleenex of uh, of uh, of uh, of worms, but and so everybody, you know, it, it, a lot of these things have been built on uh, worm G GPT as sort of. A ended up um, happening the stuff for a while. And um, really the folks over at Cato Control went back and looked at the last couple of years and found out that um, a couple of strains um, had emerged that were powered by Grok or um, Mixtral. And um, that's got some interesting implications for security for sure. Do you have a sense of whether these strains are more lethal or less lethal than the strains that humans created, or or is it just going to be there's a lot more? I think of them? there's a lot more of them, but I also think that it, maybe the the real issue here is it allows um, attacks to scale. Um, it's uh, I guess the 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 breadth and the depth of um, the problems that it can cause with security is, is just much greater. So in that sense, maybe more lethal. Yeah. Alan, the other thing that I've seen too is it seems like the malware as of late is better at evading the defenses that we have. And I got a sneaking suspicion that that may be because somebody's using AI tools to keep generating new variants of the same malware that makes it difficult to detect. But well, Mike, I've heard rumors that a lot of these variants were actually developed in a lab in Wuhan, and, <laughs> and, and they've escaped into the wild. But, um, you know, shades of mRNA. But, I mean, here, here's, here's, here's the, all kidding aside, here, here's the fact. I, I had this conversation the other day with the, the CIO of a company called Deep Instinct. They, they... They have an AI that helps with security. Don't think for a second, for even a millisecond, that the people who propagate worms, the, the bad guys, the black hats, whatever you want to call them, are not as proficient or maybe even more proficient than some of the best security people we have. And so, of course, they're using AI to polish up and upgrade, up-level, upskill their work. You're seeing it across the board. Look at the phishing emails you get now compared to what you used to get. You know, phishing emails used to look like they were written by Boris and Natasha. Or, you know, kill squirrel. But now they, 
I mean, you got to look really close. They're written really, really well. Well, that's as you were saying in the earlier segment about AI, you know, generated writing has gotten so much better. It's the same. Yeah. So why why wouldn't why wouldn't these guys be running their worms and 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 telling the AI to create a variant? Now, this is where you get into this whole issue, though. Of do you have guardrails on your AI and LLM that if someone says create a variant of this worm, it says no, I can't do that. And then you're gonna have, you know, unlocked AIs and LLMs that are only too happy to do that for you. And you set up this whole kind of underground of 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 you know against the empire, renegade AIs turning churning out this stuff. Um, or if you're a researcher, researchers might have valid reasons for asking an AI to do a variant of some code thing to, you know, similar to fuzzing in, in terms of testing code and everything. So this is not as a, uh, this is not an as easy thing as, as you would think. Terry, it doesn't look to me like the guardrails that are in place really do much because from what I'm reading, the the bad guys figured out how to work their way around those things right. pretty and easily. And that's ev just about everybody that I talked to for this story said that, right? The guardrails don't work, which means you're going to have to rethink what those guardrails might be. Well, they don't work today. They don't. But maybe maybe we got more more thought into making well, better guardrails. May maybe so. And um, is the answer around like sort of, we we've talked about this before, maybe limiting AI automation with that you know, uh, uh, help better monitoring, um, to, to try to, 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 to spot the problems and then adjust your guardrails accordingly. Perhaps maybe guardrails aren't solid. Maybe they are a little bit, uh, flexible. Um, I don't, I'm a security person saying that I'm sorry to say, but I think that's possibly the case. And, it, you know, um, I, I the, but the guardrails clearly aren't holding up this stage no i mean again i i you know guardrails are sort of artificially grafted on to the ai they're not maybe we need to design ai's guardrails built in from the get-go and maybe they'll be i i don't know what the right answer well, is, is is the bottom line hits Certainly. on it too is you know it there's a very you know, this is stronger evidence that we shouldn't bolt on security any longer. I mean, and that's what's happened with AI because uh, generative AI in, in particular, because of its rapid growth. And but it's happened with every technological innovation for as long as I've been in tech yeah, 30 but this plus just has years. Potential to just Fine. explode so you know so quickly, and I think that's um, so. Yeah, I'd like to see um, those guardrails bit built in from the get go. Well, here's here's what I think is wrong with the guardrails is the people who are building them are the same people who build the LLMs and they're designing those LLMs to be as useful and as friendly as possible. And well, guardrails kind of go against that notion. So maybe the folks who build the guardrails should not be the same people who are building the yep, LLMs. 100%. Or they need to at least work <laughs> there in concert, is that. right? Mm -hmm. All right. Um Guys, I think that's going to wrap up our Textron gang. Mike, you're due home tomorrow. John, you're coming home tomorrow, I take it? Uh, I'm coming home tonight or to the set today. Yes, whatever today is. Yes. I will be on the gang from Denver tomorrow, but then I'm hopping on a plane immediately. I feel like I need to go someplace so I can come home. Yeah, you got it. We, we Why don't you go to the next Las Vegas point. AI show, Terry? <laughs> I, I might do it. Maybe they do it at the Sphere and talk about an AI. Yeah, go to the Sphere. Have a good time. <laughs> All right. Until next time, though, wherever you are, enjoy Tech Strong TV immediately following our gang show today. And until then, it's Alan Schimmel. We're out.